His name was Geralt of Rivia. He was a witcher, a professional monster slayer. An unusual contract to lift the curse that held a monarch's daughter. It was enough to spend the night with the princess, dusk till dawn. If only she were not a deadly beast, a striga. The traitor responsible for the curse became the bait.
Though gravely wounded, the Witcher lifted the curse and gained fame. The world changed with the coming of the Great War, the time of the sword and axe, the time of disdain. Geralt of Rivia disappeared, all but forgotten. But that's another story. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> that has got to be one of my favorite ever intro cutscenes. Amazing. Um, good evening and welcome to this Let's Play of The Witcher Enhanced Edition. Um, this is going to be a modded Let's Play. I'm using the... Oh, what was the name again? Basically it's a combat revamp mod that changes how the combat in the game works. Um, so yeah, let me just check that I'm still recording. Yeah, we're all good. Okay. Now, let's see if the options are all... music volume. I had to adjust this. I tried this earlier and 10 was way too loud. The music is great, but, you know, I'd like to hear myself talk. Um, yes, all of this is lighting quality. I'm going to set it to low, because the higher settings mess up the cutscenes. Okay. I don't know why. Nobody knows why. It seems to be a common problem. Um, that basically everybody has. So I'm going to set it to low. Small animals, not really necessary. So, accept. And start a new game. Oh yeah, the name of the mod was ACR. Stands for... What was it again? Just forget it. Let's start a new game. Play the actual story. There's these additional adventures, but the mod kind of messes them up, because the modders basically give you a random amount, well not a random, they decided on a good amount of skill points to award you at the start of each of these uh, stories. But basically the mod messes them up, because it, it changes the leveling up system so dramatically. So, we're going to stick with the main story. Um, so, here we go. Session number one. We're going to play through the prologue. Let's, by the way, let's check that the game options. I want... To, yeah, I don't want to be bothered by the tutorials. Although, maybe I should. Just because... Uh, they've actually changed the in-game text as well to reflect the mod, which is great. But... Nah, I'm gonna leave them out. And I'll check the manual later if I need any help. I have a pretty good idea of how I want to develop my character. So yeah, that's good. Start a new game. I'm going to... <laughs> FCR, sorry, not ACR, FCR. Full Combat Rebalance, was it? I don't know. Um, I tried this earlier, and it is insane, okay? Just intended for experienced players knowing optimal character development, which I don't. <laughs> I have... <laughs> I'm terrible, actually. So, I think we're going to go with this. Yeah. Point... 
a vast array of alchemical means is required, so you need alchemy. Although a hefty supply of vitality points makes a relatively stress-free fight possible. So it's possible, but unlikely. So I think we'll vote this. This is actually the, because the mod installs. There's two options basically. You can install install easy difficulties or hard difficulties. I pick the hard ones. And uh, yeah, they're really hard. So. 80 vitality points. 80 vitality points. 60. Stick with this. Keyboard and mouse is the preferred control method. This just feels weird. It feels like the game was designed with this in mind. So, keyboard and mouse it is. And the adventure starts, I think, when I click this. So let's go. The Northern Kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged. The death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering what had happened to the witchers. The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year, 1270. Five years after the Great War. Everything's all right. I've no idea where you've been. The important thing is you're alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave. I remember nothing. We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Kaer Morin. Kaer Morin. Wow, we look at that. Get Triss. Your time. 
time nears its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you are important. Geralt, we... <gasps> Something's going on. Something scared the birds. I need to think. Time flows slowly at Kaer Morin. It worked! Not bad. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Wait for the rest. He's alone. The Professor promised 50 orange for every freak we kill. He's uh -oh. mine! Vesemir, we got company. I'm shutting the gate. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. Let's go. Pick up the sword. Go and help them. Oh, this is... Wow. That was quick. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. Um, nothing. Let's go. Hurry up, hurry up. What's happening? They're trying to break down the gate! They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Shit! What is that? A frightener. One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. They're coming up here. Get ready! There's more! They're entering the upper courtyard! The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The Professor is wanted in Redania, Temeria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bells in the upper courtyard. Exactly. 
Eskel, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits, though one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. Okay then, let's not linger. Oh, take care of him. Wow. One hit and it's down. That's the FCR working. Um, cool. Next up. Let's keep moving. So there's different sword styles that you can use to fight these guys. Um, small enemies generally need to be taken out down with the past style. Or at least that's how it was in the vanilla game. Not sure if it applies here. Uh, let's go. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's keep moving and take him down. Ooh. One guy with a bow. Get to him. And he's down. Oh! Almost got ambushed. Dodging. That's it. Open the gate. Let them in. Come on. There. Winch. You're alive. You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. The professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, witchers. They're here to rob you. Trace, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts. I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Triss may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a Frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. 
Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. Okay, so we're going to the lab. That was a bug, by the way. Probably caused by the FCR. Hoping, here's to hoping that it goes away <laughs> the next time her model loads in. Um, yeah. And I need to remember to save because, well, I've turned auto saving on, off. I mean. Because the thing about this game is that it, <sighs> and this problem persists still in the enhanced edition, where the auto saves and quick saves don't override each other. So at one point, you know, I had like 16 gigabytes of saved game, save game data from The Witcher. <laughs> I was wondering, wondering, okay, why is why is it taking so long for me to open open the save folder? Right to load up a game, and turns out 16 gigabytes of save game data kind of slows things down. Okay, but let's move on. Ready, Geralt? Mm hmm. Is this your first real fight? No, but I've never killed a man. Stay close, Geralt. I'm waiting. Lead the way. Okay. Let's drink the thunderbolts, like. As you told us, that should amplify our damage. 